Hi everyone, it's me, Steve, Mr. Janoin Wan. How are you doing today? This episode is going to be a request video because you are asking me the three questions I get a lot. Number one is how do I pick my moisturizer for night? What do I use for nighttime right now for moisturizer? And then the difference between SK2 moisturizer and La Mer moisturizer. So in this episode, I'm going to take time to explain to you what I use, how I use, and what do I like about them. Let's get started. <laughs> Before I show the difference between the La Mer La Creme SK to RNA Power, let's talk about moisturizer first. And I think that a lot of people don't realize that why are we using moisturizer and how do I pick the best moisturizer for my skin. So number one, why are we using moisturizer? Moisturizer acts as a barrier, meaning that when you put the moisturizer on top, it seal what's beneath the skin for a period of time. So the the treatment you use under the moisturizer can deliver results. So that's what really moisturizer is. And now, how do I pick the best moisturizer? Then you need to know your skin conditions. Meaning that you need to know that do you have oily skin? Do you have a dry skin? Do you have a normal skin? Sensitive skin? And once you figure out what you have, then you can find a moisturizer to address that. Yeah, easy, right? And then now you're gonna ask me that, well, how do I know which one do I buy? Well, when you go to the cosmetic counter or the drugstore, when you select a moisturizer, usually on the package it will tell you that this is good for dry skin, this is for oily skin, and you just pick based on what I say. Because cosmetic company is not going to lie to you. For example, if the moisturizer is not oil free, they're not going to tell you this is oil free. So you can definitely trust the package, um, I, especially in the USA because everything has uh, put up by legal law. So they are not going to lie, it's going to be the real information. So that's the best way to select the moisturizer. Next step, you're going to ask me, I know you're going to ask that, so do I really need to spend $300, $1,000 or can I just buy a $50 moisturizer? What is the difference? Well, the difference is the ingredient that you're paying for. And I, I get this a lot, you know, I, I mean, don't hate me, I'm going to say this right now, okay? It's all about how much you want to spend. And I, I, I respect your decisions, but you just need to, you need to kind of think about this, that, you know, um, when you buy in the luxury skincare line, you pay a lot of money in there. Beside the packaging and commercial, the beautiful store that you see, you also do pay some type of ingredient in the package. And that's why that a lot of time when you buy in more luxury skincare, you see more reactions. Meaning that when you first apply, you're going to feel something happening in the skin. And those things are good because you pay for it. So you're going to see it, you're going to feel, and you're going to see the result. But on the other hand, when you go into a drugstore brand, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's going to be less percentage of ingredients. So you're probably not going to see big result immediately. But in time, you're still going to see result a little bit too. So it's really your decision that I want to go luxury or budget friendly. But you know me how I always say this. I, I always told uh, my customer this too that what you need to spend the money should be your serum and your essence but everything else you can go budget friendly if you want to so that's my take on that and speaking about you know the moisturizer the budget friendly the luxury personally I like luxury skincare uh, I tried different brands I tried the Target skincare I even tried the four dollar moisturizer but do I use that every single day uh, no I don't it's just not what I like and I, I don't, it's just not for me but I'll try it for you guys to let you know how I like it for that period of time so what I use is two brands I use for moisturizer regularly and it's one is the SK2 RNA power the other one is La Mer so now I want to talk about the difference between these two and when do I use this all right, so let's go with the SK2 first. This RNA power cream, Radical New Age, it's really target for anyone that who has a multiple signs of aging concern. And then also somebody has a more towards to normal to drier skin a little bit, I will say that. And, but what's really cool about this moisturizer is the consistency. It's a very liquidy, but it's not, it's not super thick 
but it gives enough hydration. I would say that even for somebody normal to oily, you can use this. Uh, I have a more normal to dry skin conditions, and depends the weather and depends where I go, it changes a little bit, but mostly I get drier and drier. So I like to use this when I feel normal to dry and not traveling a lot because when I travel my skin go cuckoo, right? So I use this when I at home a lot and this helps to uh, address large pores, fine lines on my skin and firm on my skin too. So I like to use for that particular reason. Now the La Mer La Creme. This is a very con 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 controversial. A lot of people talk about La Mer brand and I need to be honest with you I've been using this cream for a long time now and I don't use this every single day. I use as a needy base and kind of like my, my, my emergency cream. So saying that meaning that when my skin is going super cuckoo, I definitely use La Mer to calm down. Because I like this particular one, the original one, it's very thick. So how I usually do it, I'll show you. See that it's almost half empty now. So basically I will get a cream out like this much and then I put in my palm massage. I use my palm to activate the heat and I just basically press on my face. I don't massage and just slightly press. And the reason why is that the time that I use La Mer La Creme, usually my skin is very sensitive. Usually my skin is very dry and cause for various reasons. Maybe I try something not so good for my skin. My skin feels itching and burning. And I use La Mer, just really calm and soothe. And this moisturizer, it really helped to hydrate your skin. It made my skin feel so comfortable at nighttime. So I use that for that purpose. Do I use this every single night? No, I don't. I go for my SK2 usually, but sometimes you need a little booster. I use La Mer, but, but I press on the do massage. SK2, I massage, all kind of massage because it's firming and lifting. La Mer, press, 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 press. That's how I do it. So those two moisturizer is the one I use, I would say 80% of the time. The other 20% I try different product, different brand, so I can get more uh, understanding them. And I hope that this kind of clarify and answer some of your questions. If you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer you. And I want to say thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate that. And as always, don't forget to follow me on my social media right here and Snapchat. Uh, Snapchat is where I show you my daily life, especially when I travel for work like 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm on Snapchat to show you what happened at the airport. So definitely check it out. And once again, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best. All right, so until then, I will see you next week. Bye.